Hi, I'm Hannah from OSHA and this video will explain exactly how you can choose the perfect size of woven wrap for you and your family. Woven wraps come in seven different sizes and the size is determined by the length of the sling. So a size 2 is 2.7 metres long and a size 8 is 5.7 metres long. They're all the same width which is about 70 centimetres. And it's the length of the sling that determines their size. Now I'm going to explain what a base size is and why it's useful to know your base size. So you might have seen the term base size being used on wrapping tutorials or on blog posts and this is a really useful tool for you to understand what length of sling you need to be able to do all of the different carries. So because your body shape and size will differ from somebody else, having a base size and understanding what that is for you means that you can easily look at any other tutorials and figure out which size of sling you're going to need to achieve that particular carry. The base size is determined by the size of sling you will need to be able to do a front wrap cross carry. The front wrap cross carry is what I have on at the moment and it's generally considered to be the simplest wrap to start with if you're a beginner. Aside from it being one of the most simple carries to learn, the front wrap cross carry feels really nice and supportive for both you and your baby. It goes over both of your shoulders and it has lovely weight distribution across your back and under baby's bottom as well. Sizing goes as follows and we will add some conversions for EU and US dress sizes as well. UK size 8 and below, you want to go for a size 5. UK size 10 to 12, you want to go for a size 6. And UK size 14 to 16, you want to go for a size 7. And UK size 18 and above, you should go for a size 8. There are a few caveats when figuring out your base size. If you're small, below 5 foot, then you should go for one size down. And if you're tall, above 5 foot 10, then you should go for one size up. Also, if you're carrying your little one and they're over one year, we would say to go one size up as well. Once you know your base size, you can look at tutorials that explain either plus or minus and that way you're going to be able to determine exactly which size for all of the different carries that are out there. But as a reminder, we do recommend starting with a front wrap cross carry in your base size if you're a beginner. If you're going to be sharing your wrap with a partner or someone who is a different dress size to you, then we would recommend going with the person who's going to be the primary caregiver and user of the sling. My base size is a size 5, but today I'm wearing a size 6 wrap, so I've got slightly longer tails at the back here. If I was wearing my size 5, I would just have a couple of inches left over after doing a double knot at the back there with my front wrap cross carry. But there's no harm in having a little bit extra length at the back, and you can either leave that there, or I can, instead of doing a double knot at the back, I can just twist the fabric at the back, just bring that back round and tie underneath. And actually that can be a really nice option if you don't want to have a knot at the back. You can have a double knot under baby's bottom. As I showed you earlier, you can make modifications to how to tie the sling. So if you do want to both be able to wear a front wrap cross carry, then I would go with the bigger person. And that way you can make modification at the knotting stage and you can still both wear a front wrap cross carry. It's great that you don't actually need to try your base size to know what it is. You can just follow our helpful chart and our advice that we shared earlier in this video. And once you do know your base size, then it will be really easy for you to figure out what length of sling you will need for all of the different carries that are out there. All you need to do when you're looking at tutorials is check out whether they say base size plus or minus. And in my second video on how to choose the right size woven wrap, I will cover this in more detail. And we'll link to that video here as well. If you find this video helpful, it would be great if you could hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for lots more educational content. 
If you're still struggling to figure out the right size for you, you can contact us on Facebook Messenger and you can also join our Facebook community group, Clan Osha, where we have customers and the rest of the Osha team on hand to be able to help you. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.